Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right. Uh, this lesson is going to be about a meme I saw uh, one of the brothers posted. It says uh, right here, me watching the this sh this shit I predicted unfold after everybody told me I was crazy and that's what's going to happen and uh you know the things that we told them are going to unfold right before their eyes because we already knew it was going to happen and it's happening as you know as i speak you know right now or as you listen you know things are being um moved in a direction of prophecy to be fulfilled okay and the things that we have been talking about as far as current events, as far as like uh, the mysteries of the Bible, things are starting to come true, all right? Um, and when you see it as a prophet, it, it's rejoicing and it's a faith booster. But to those that are without and those that don't have faith and those that don't even care, they're looking at it from a carnal perspective because they don't look to God for for guidance they don't look to god for protection and uh they don't have a god to really have faith in they have a false god all right they believe in a, in a fake god a god that they made up all right even when they even read the bible they have um they have it uh prepared mentally to believe in the doctrine that they've been taught in christianity so they truly don't even get the full understanding. You know, they have a a false sense of hope. All right. And, you know, they would not really listen to a true prophet. They'll listen to a, a fake one, a false one, a false prophet, but not a real one. Because they're not going to tell them the things that are to, to uh, come to this earth. They're just here for prosperity while they're here under the sun. They're here for a cushion, more cushion lifestyle, all right, with money and resources and things of that nature when all that's going to crash and be done away with at one point. And no one's going to care about your status then. No one's going to care about your jet planes and your mansions and your mega churches then. People are going to be trying to survive, and they're going to be looking to you for answers. You won't have the answers. I'm talking to all the false prophets, but the real ones who predicted, not predicted, but prophesied, what was going to happen they're the ones that are going to be with you're going to be the ones that without the scriptures tell you matter of fact um let's get it i know it's in isaiah um Yep. Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus say, saith uh, Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, uh, but ye shall hunger. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So those that are without are going to be ashamed. Those who are without are are going to be hungry but the servants of the lord are going to eat and they're going to drink all right they're going to they're the ones who are going to have but the ones that didn't listen are going to be the the ones that are without right so eventually you're going to know man you, you're going to know eventually that <laughs> this was real and the things that we said are, are going to come true right before your eyes second uh address nine and uh, nine it says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which when have abused my ways, and they have cast them away, 
despitefully shall dwell in torments for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me so right now those in, uh, right now are receiving um you know whatever it is whatever you're doing in your life you receive that because you work for that and uh you know you're, you're getting it now whatever you whatever ambitions and things that that you've won in your life you know you 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 went out for that and you got it you know you had you got your second place uh prize because you went out for that but you did not know the lord see the lord is going to give you everything an everlasting kingdom of peace and, and joy but you chose a crumbling kingdom you chose the world all right you chose the world because you chose to abuse the ways of yahweh bahashem yahweh shai verse 11 and they that have lofted my law while they had yet liberty meaning you had time all right and you lofted it you put it to the side and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it because they had time to repent and the lord uh, extended his hand of mercy but they slapped the, the lord's hand away all right and because of that this was going to happen verse 12 the same must know it after death by pain so death by pain is come to those who chose not to repent all right who chose not to take this serious and they're going to see things unfold all right right before their eyes they're going to be like damn <laughs> that do what that guy said was right or what she said was right and you're going to know it man and this is what it's going to be this is ezekiel 2 and 5 and they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear for they are a rebellious house yet shall yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them so they being rebellious and doing god knows what guess what <laughs> they're gonna know it by death by pain and they're gonna dwell in torments because they refuse to repent so everything that we say, we see it, but they don't because they're without, because they're not watching. They're not one of the watchmen. Like it talks about in Ezekiel, though as the watchman sits on this tower, you know, you're watching for these things. You know, you're measuring the time diligently, but the wicked aren't doing that. So we won't be caught off guard, but they will. The Lord's going to come like a thief in the night. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai.